Hello Aries, welcome to the channel, hope you're all doing well. And we have not the right time, not the right time. And we have meditation brings answers. Now not everybody meditates, you might want to go for a walk in nature, but the point being is that you take time out to connect in with your higher self or spirit here. Uh, because there's something going on here, but it's not the right time um, for things to be happening. If this starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. Spirit, please show me the, the guidance in relation to this message. Knight of Cups. Ace of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. The Tower Moment. The beautiful overall central energy is the Temperance card. So this is Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. The Four of Cups. I can see why this is happening now. The Nine of Cups. The Devil energy. So this is Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. The Queen of Pentacles. Now what we've got here is we have got the Devil energy and we've got the Tower card. So this is a very unsettling time. What's happened here is you've either go, you're either going through a tower moment or you've been through a tower moment. And the universe has released you from something that you were chained to and stuck in. Now, this could be something that wasn't serving you well. It could be a codependent relationship, a toxic relationship. It could be a toxic environment, bosses. It could be habits or behaviours that we've adopted that aren't serving us well. And everything has come crashing down. Now, the universe steps in because... There's something better out there for you. Now, I know if you're going through it, it doesn't feel like it, but this is a blessing in disguise. You're going to be released now to, onto a new path because whatever you've been in, you've felt chained to it, and we should never feel chained to people, environments, or situations. There could be habits as well. It could be self-doubt as well that's holding you back here. Self-doubt in the sense that you think that you never, you don't deserve anything else. Now, everybody deserves the best in life. You're unique. You're special. The universe knows that, so they've stepped in here, and this can come out the blue. It can feel as if the rug has been pulled from under your feet. So it's a very unsettling time. But what's happening here is everything that's not stable and doesn't serve you is being released from your life. It's going. It's sliding away. It's moving on. So this is a very difficult time for you. Now, it can be as well that you're... You know, you're doubting your ability here. You're, you're thinking there'll never be another blessing. I'm fed up. I'm sitting here. What do I do now? You know, nothing. What's going to come forward for me now? There's always new opportunities that are going to come in. Now, don't be so caught up. I mean, take time to work through this tower moment by all means. We need to take time to work through it. But trust and believe that new opportunities will definitely come forward. Now, they might not come in the shape and form you envisage. But there will be blessings. And don't be so caught up in the drama and the melodrama of what's going on that you don't see the blessings around you or the opportunities. Don't miss out on opportunities that Spirit is bringing to you. Now, this can feel... What Spirit is wanting here is they're wanting you to have brand new opportunities. This is aces of brand new beginnings here for um, passionate... Um, endeavours. So not even in a romantic sense. I mean, passion for life. This is about spirit creating you, you know, letting you uh, take time to look at new blessings that you're going to be passionate about where there's growth for you. You're not stuck in things. You're not chained to things. You're passionate about what you're doing on a daily basis. Now, this could be in your work life, your financial, the financial side of your life, your relationships or your environment. But the important thing is here is that we're meant to be feeling passion in life. We're meant to be enjoying life. We're not meant to be feeling chained down. We're not meant to be manipulated. We're not meant to feel, you know, dragged down with things. We're meant to feel as if, you know, um, we're, we're enjoying everything that we're doing. We're meant to, you know, there's a newfound passion that's going to have to be found here, that will be found here. So you need to listen to your intuition. You can feel as if, you know, you're sitting here and you're fed up and you're bored with things and things are moving very, very slowly. But it's not the right time um, for these opportunities to come in yet. There might be times where you need to heal. 
Um, you will restore balance to your situation. The overall central energy here is the temperance card. But again, it's a time of patience. So you might be getting presented with things that aren't for you. You might be bored and fed up now. Like I say, you might think there's no blessings out there for, for you, but there definitely is. It's, they will come in their own time. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the pack. And the reason that he's slow is because it's baby steps. Goals come to fruition. Opportunities come into our life when the time is right and not before. So spirit is working in the background. So you might want to meditate. You might want to connect in with spirit, like I say here. You might want to go for a walk and ground yourself. But trust, there are blessings that will come in that will suit you. But it's divine timing that's at play here. Because spirit is not wanting you to end up in the same situations as you did before. So they want you to feel harmony at one with your relationships. They want you to enjoy life. You can see the anxiety, the fire, the anger, the frustration, whatever this is here. So we need to take our time now and we need to be careful about our choices here. We need to be careful about our choices. We have learned loads. So, you know, balance will be restored in time. New opportunities will come forward in time when the time's right. Now, when we're being presented with things and we're not sure about them, it might be that we need to do some research and we need to look you know, belief, below, below the surface to see the beauty in these situations. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Don't miss out on these opportunities. Explore them. Gather information about them. This could also be you wanting to go back to study as well. But whatever this you're passionate about, you're going to get over this term moment and you're going to get inspired again. This new opportunity will come forward when the time's right. And it's going to be better than you could ever imagine. There's going to be more to it than you can ever imagine. And you're going to get excited about it. And it's going to move you towards happiness. It will move you on. There's the cup there. You're moving on with it. The right opportunity will come. But I think you're feeling just now as if you're bored and fed up waiting on it. You know, is anything going to change? Is nothing new coming in? I'm fed up. I've had this upset. You know, I've been through all this. And what's going to be there at the end? It's going to be an opportunity that's going to be worth the wait. And it's something here that you're going to feel stable and you're going to be able to nurture. You're going to be able to take your time with baby steps. You're not rushing into anything. So look at your choices carefully. Don't be rushing into anything here. You're going to be able to go forward. You've got the skills here. You're on the right path. You've made the right choice and you're able to nurture things and create stability, whether it be financial stability, stability within your home life, whether it be a secure job here. But you'll be able to, you've got the skills here to nurture things and create great, um, you know, things round about you. Where you feel secure again. You're feeling secure in this. There's security with this opportunity that's coming. So don't be impatient. I know there's been tough times here, but don't be impatient. Spirit is working behind the scenes here to make sure that the right opportunity, whether it be the person, the job, the financial opportunity, the house, whatever it may be here, um, the right situation comes forward so you're not disappointed again. Because what's going to happen is you'll move on from this devil energy. You'll be able to nurture this new opportunity when the time's right. And there's going to be a lot of contentment and happiness that's going to come into your life. So it does involve patience. I know people don't like to hear that. Um, there's been upsets. There's been tower moments. Um, like I say, but new opportunities will present themselves when the time is right. Yes, you're manifesting something new here or you're going to go on to do this. So please be patient because this is a new goal that you're going to be setting and it will come to fruition. The opportunity will come in and you will go towards it. You will be passionate about this new goal that you're taking up, however this resonates with you, whether this is romance, whether it's his new homes, new jobs, new countries. You are going. To, it is going to come together for you. You're going to be successful. You're going to overcome the challenges and you're going to be very successful in victories coming in. And sixes are rewards cards. So you'll just go from strength to strength. Like I say, the growth, ones are growth. You'll be able to work on this and you're going to be successful and build prosperity and stability in your future here. Guides. Your spirit guides are there to help you. Communicate with your spirit guides today. And that's what I'm saying. Invite spirit in. Connect in with them. Please believe they're working behind the scenes. They always are. Proud. Be proud of who you are, where you've been and where you're going. You will get there. 
you've achieved things up till now and you're just going to go on and prosper. Um, things aren't ending, it's just new beginnings. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.